Hello creatures, my name's Chloe. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today. I would like to pay my respects to elders past and present. So today I'm bringing you another unboxing. I really hope they didn't show any of my address on it. Should be fine. So this is another unboxing. Um, not a Lumicrate Direct. This is a couple of books that I bought on eBay. They've been shipped in an Lumicrate box. Very, very excited about these. So they are actually two copies of the same book. I got a really, really good deal on eBay for these books. I was only looking for one edition, but it, it was more cost effective to buy both to then sort of make up my mind. It'll make sense when I actually open this. I have cracked it so to make it easier for me to get into for our purposes here. So yeah, I don't think my oh, I don't think my address was visible. So the books that I'm unboxing are two copies of Aurora Burning by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. This is the author, author letter that came with the Illumicrate edition. You can see that just there. This is something that I will also be adding to my stash of bookish merch and other items like that. I've got a box and I just keep it all in there. Keeps it all together and that way I know what I have and things that I might want to give as gifts or giveaways. I don't know yet, but yeah. I really like this uh, author card because you also get the beautiful blue of the Illumicrate edition on it. Though it might have been cool to get a little bit of art, but whatever. So that was on top in the box, so it was just sitting on top in the bubble wrap like that. And now inside here we have the books, which I will just extract. So there's two in here. One is definitely the Illuminate edition, that I can confirm. Also fantastic wrapping. I've never seen this much bubble wrap on just a couple of books. It's awesome. I'm really, really excited about these. I wasn't going to get a limited edition of Aurora Burning, but I, I got the book on Libby. It ended up coming through before I could get my hands on a physical copy. I read it and loved it. And I already have a signed edition of Aurora Rising. It's not the Illumicrate edition with the beautiful pink cover, but I kind of wanted these editions. So, okay. I'm going to open up the Illumicrate edition first. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> So this is the Illumicrate edition of Aurora Burning. It's got beautiful blue tinted edges. This is in fantastic condition. So it's super shiny because the dust jacket has been wrapped, I think. Yeah, it's been plastic wrapped. That's awesome. So the whole thing has been completely encased. You can sort of see when I shine it there where the plastic stops. It's wrapped right through on the inside. Completely covers the outside except for these two trim pieces here. That's fantastic. What good service. Beautiful shiny spine. There is zero denting on this essentially. There's one little lift on this corner but there's no crushing to each of these points. There's no real discoloration. The bottom of the uh, tint is a little bit faded compared to the top and sides. You can see there but I'd say that's more a symptom of the process. Same with this little smudge here. I think you can see that. I think that's just um, where the dye would have been applied. Beautiful blue end papers that also match the cover and the tint. And then we have signed limited edition written just up here. And then we've got the, the double sign down the bottom, which is exactly what I wanted, which is fantastic. I'm pretty sure this book hasn't actually been cracked. Like the way the pages are sticking together and the way it feels. When you get a really new book, particularly hardcovers, you get the feeling when book is like pushing back against you trying to open it. I'm feeling that pressure at that point. Anything more than that and it feels like I'm gonna crack the binding, which I don't wanna do yet. That's fantastic. I'm so pleased with my service from this person. Like this isn't from a Lumicrate, this is a private seller, that's absolutely brilliant. I'm so pleased with that. That's the first edition. Beautiful Aurora Burning with Cal on the front cover. If you don't know, Cal is one of the main characters in this series. He's basically a space elf. Really, really interesting character, interesting culture. I really enjoyed him though. He did get a little tiny bit annoying in Aurora Burning. So after I unbox both of these books and show you the other edition that I've got in my hands, I'm probably going to chat a little bit about what I thought of this book. Just a little tiny mini review. It shouldn't get too spoilery, but if you haven't read the book, probably just avoid that section, but it should be okay. So the second copy of Aurora Burning that came with this one in the double 
auction was the Forbidden Planet edition of Aurora Burning. So this one has also been plastic wrapped beautifully. This one does have a little bit more damage. So as far as I can tell, the dust jackets are fine. No dent into the spine, same as the last one. Little tiny bit of inward folding on this corner, but nothing major. All four points are in good condition. The only bit of damage that I can actually see is just here. You should be able to see a little tiny bit of disruption with the pages because, yeah, so this probably couldn't be avoided. There's just two pages just there and they've rolled inwards, which is fine. That happens. I think that happened in my last unboxing video. I straightened out a couple of pages. That'll come out with time. That's fine. I'm getting the same resistance on this one, leading me to believe it's not been opened. So this one, again, signed limited edition with the double signing. And then here, that's the resistance rate. Beautiful condition. Here's my dilemma. Look, it's a good problem to have. I'm in no way complaining that I have both of these editions, but I wasn't planning on getting both because I really, really love the dark blue of the Illumicrate edition. But my copy of Aurora Rising is the Forbidden Planet signed edition that doesn't have an alternate cover, but it technically goes with this one. Oh, something else to add about these editions that you can see is, come on, on the, uh, the signed title page, it also has down the bottom, it's got published by Rock the Boat in association with Forbidden Planet, May 2020. So it's just down there. The Illumicrate edition has the same thing, but instead of Forbidden Planet, it says Illumicrate, which I think is a really interesting touch, particularly with the date. I've not seen really that happen before, but I think it's a really, really good option. So that's just there, if you want to see that. It's a really cool way to date when these books came out and when they were signed. Like, obviously that's accessible information, but it's kind of cool to have that on there, I think. So yeah. Oh. And these books are largely the same, except for the covers, obviously, but there's also a slight difference in binding. I'd have to get my hands on a hardcover version, uh, an ordinary hardcover version of these books to check. But you can see on here, the binding has gold ribbon, oh, it's goldy orange ribbon along the inside here, and on this one it has blue. Also on the spines, the author names are different colours. So we've got the yellow for Amy Kaufman with the orange for Jay Kristoff on the Forbidden Planet, blue for Jay, and orange for Amy on the Illumicrate. Beautiful, beautiful books, but here's my problem. I don't know which one I want to keep. My original plan was just buy both, and then I can pass one of them along at a later date. Not something I do typically, because buying books for resale is... Like, that's an expensive endeavour and there's no real guarantee that you're going to be getting that payoff for what you've spent. The Lord of Shadows Rune Edition from Cassandra Clare, I have an extra copy of that that I probably will end up selling off at a later date. At the time I bought it, it was going around, people were trying to get this book and Australia just seemed to have heaps and heaps of stock so I figured I'll buy an extra copy and we'll go from there. I also bought a friend copies of the second and third books in that series in those editions. And I just haven't sold it off yet. I've put things up on Twitter a couple of times see seeing if anybody wanted it, but I think I'm going to hold off a little bit longer just because if I am going to save it to sell it off, I would like to make a profit, but I've not had anybody interested. So the plan was, because of I spent a bit of money on these, but it ended up being cheaper per book to buy both than it would have cost me to buy one of them. So they were an amount of money each, but every copy of Aurora Burning that I saw was more than that amount per book, if that makes sense. And I didn't see as many editions of the Forbidden Planet version, so I thought I'd just get it. Now, this is really cool also because Aurora Burning was on my list of books I'd love to add to my collection that I have been slowly adding to as time has gone on. But now I have to decide which one I want to keep and I'm really not sure because I keep thinking, like, I love my purple edition of Aurora Rising, but if I could get the pink edition to match this one, would I say no? Of course I wouldn't. This one technically goes with that first edition, making it part of that set, which obviously I'm very, very here for. I should also note, I wasn't going to buy Aurora Rising in a signed special edition. It came in a double pack with Dark Dawn, which is why I have it. And then I turned out to love it. And that's why I have this in the collection. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I really want to see as well what alternate covers come out for the last book in the series before I commit to which one I decide to 
get rid of. If I even get rid of one, I might not be able to bring myself to do it yet. And that's okay. I will eventually. Because I'm just thinking, I really love the orange of the original hardcover of Aurora Burning also. I think it looks brilliant. And I just want to see which set kind of looks the best, like which colours I end up preferring together. Just so I don't accidentally get rid of a book and then decide, oh, I actually like that one better. Because... I really like the contrast of the yellow against the purple of Aurora Rising, but I love this blue edition. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but this is also gorgeous. I just, I don't know yet. So I have both of these books. They're in fantastic condition. Oh, I forgot to note, this does also have the, uh, like, barcode on the back for Forbidden Planet. This one does not, obviously, because it came through a Lumicrate. It has the exclusives written on the back, I just noticed as well. So right above there... It's got a Lumicrate exclusive and Forbidden Planet exclusive with the original cover. I do find it interesting that a Lumicrate has included the original cover of Aurora Rising one here instead of their special edition. I just find that interesting. So yeah, these are two new books to add to the collection. I was really, really excited to get these. I am probably going to be hanging on to them for a little while, but I'll keep you guys updated with whatever I decide. They'll probably pop up in some collection videos where I talk about curating my collection, what I'm doing, what I'm planning to do with signed editions that I don't necessarily want anymore because I do have one in, like I've got one at the moment but I'm sure there'll be more that I get and then probably decide that I either don't need or would prefer other copies so yeah that's what's going on now just to talk about these books a little bit I loved Aurora Burning I rated it five out of five stars my only criticisms for it really Cal and Aurora got a little bit annoying in this one compared to the last one but I understood why my favorite character out of the whole lot is Finian I also really really love Scarlet I just think they're fantastic. They're really building on the characters in a really, really meaningful way. I just love how these authors work with character. I think it's brilliant. And it's just very clever and nuanced. And you can tell that they're both very experienced writers. I don't know. I've just, I've never enjoyed sci-fi as much as when I read these authors. It's definitely a genre that I want to look into more. Let me know down below if you've got any sci-fi books that I should definitely read. I've really, really enjoyed uh, Amy and Jay's books. I also really like Space Opera by Catherine Valente. That was really good. Anything like that. I like the idea of space opera stuff. I also liked Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. So yeah, it was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. I find their storylines fairly easy to follow because I do have a tendency in really thick storylines to fixate on certain characters and I get a little bit lost sometimes, but that's not been a problem with this series. Really, really cool concept that I can't explain without accidentally being spoilery, so I'm not going to... I would highly recommend these books, just if anyone's into sci-fi. I also like that these are both Australian authors, like that's really cool to me. And they're huge. Like they've got such a massive profile in industries that I would absolutely love to write in. So I don't know, Amy and Jay are kind of role models for the kind of author I would like to be because they also cross genres, which is something I'm very, very into. So yeah, that is my unboxing for Aurora Burning Times 2. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments below what you're collecting. If you've got any sci-fi recs, let me know what you thought of this book compared to the first one because I have heard some conflicting opinions. And yeah, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. All my social media links are down in the description box below. Subscribe if you want to, like it if you did, and I will see you soon with a new video.